You're one of them dead sec types been giving Albion a pain, right? People in the borough have noticed. That's why I rang you. Figured you'd be interested in giving them one more good swift kick in the bollocks. Go on. Them Albion twats have turned one of the city's landmarks into a fucking propaganda machine and it ain't sitting well with the natives. The eye, well, it's a symbol of London, isn't it? A symbol for the people. Public, accessible, in the heart of London. But Albion have stamped their mark on the bloody thing. The only thing we see when we look at it now is a symbol of our oppression. Shows it plain to the world too. Bloody drain on the people's morale. We'll see what we can do. It doesn't seem too hard. We've disrupted Albion propaganda before. You have to knock out some electronic security first. And for that, you'll need a little summit from one of them barges on the river. Which means clearing the defences on the barge first, of course. But that's a doddle for the likes of you, right? I'll give it a go. Well, this is exciting. The console on this barge is a control hub for prototype counter-terrorism drones. You can use one to destroy electronic security measures on the wheel. prototype CT drones I've seen, so have fun with these while they last. And I can't imagine Albion will just let you fuck about with their most expensive toys, so be ready for some kind of response. Destroy the remaining electronic security station and you'll be able to scrap this propaganda.
transfer. Upload a more positive message for the people. Now that's a beautiful sight. I think I'm getting teary-eyed over here, seeing the wheel the way it should be. I won't be the only one either. That wheel is a part of London, one of our most iconic landmarks. We couldn't let Albion ruin it with their propaganda for the world to see. You just said a mouthful, and I doubt the borough would have woke up without you giving us the kick up the arse we needed. Thanks, Dead Sick. This is going to ignite the people's hopes in Lambeth, team. Albion's going to find it impossible to keep this borough under control. That's a feather in our cap. I don't want to fight. I'm leaving. Apologies. No need to get agitated. <laughs> I've delved more into Caitlin Lau's investigation and an enormous number of missing person cases centre around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. We should find our contact. I'm afraid of what Albin might do to Angel if they discover he's dead set.
got back the summons. I've already taken care of your entry, get you in quick and quiet. You haven't put me in the system, right? We're trying to keep this off the books. No worries, I'll spoon. But come meet me on the rooftop. The only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes deportees by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. But hey, it's to protect London, right? What's going on here? This place is worse than a prison camp. Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their families. But I'd rather stay and keep an eye on things. Maybe help out once in a while. Like, no. My god, this place is a travesty. And the government is okay with this? Anyone here could disappear unnoticed. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. Of course, because Mary Kelly has to stick her nose in everything. The vulture. Truth. Now, about your missing guy. The best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone that comes in. And be careful. I, I was just leaving. Pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic. There will be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez.
Tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skip on paperwork. Here is a recording labelled Exit Interview. You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with DedSec. You think you were picked up on some random sweep? Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not going to go well for you, then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing of problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking thugs? Of winding up floating in the dams? Fuck you! You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the Four Corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sick the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favor of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? Wow, you're right. Now shut it. I have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Brilliant.
TTOS AR. Data the construction in progress. Let's make a deal, yeah? I know people outside. Maybe I can help you out. Just let me out of here. Procedures, Mr. Lopez. We'll have you out of here in a minute or two. Fuck! What was that? They implanted him with something. We need to take a closer look. Facial analysis matches for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orty that would be. Microchips, coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. So why did they implant a microchip in Angel? Diagnostics? Biometrics? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this cliffhanger gets resolved. Let's keep following. Maybe he got away. Interesting. Wonder if there are more of these. Fuck! He's getting away! Get after him! Shit, they're catching up on him. Come on, Angel. You fuckers! Come on, Angel, you can make it! She's gonna kill us. No, it's fine. As long as he's not damaged, there'll be no waste. Demand's high with the new network. Guess you're right. Let's cheer him, get him in the van and out to the incinerator. Damn. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I knew that microchip wasn't just a tracking device. Looks like they triggered it. I don't know what Mary Kelly's up to, but at the risk of sounding too optimistic, Angel's alive. We need to find him, see what they did to him, and what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, zero day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right round the corner. Trespassing is kind of fun. Perfect place for some culture. That's the perfect place.
little money. Come on and place your bets. So he came up and asked me what I'd bring with me to Desert Island. This is where those Kelly goons brought Angel. Not filling me with optimism. Now, now, keep your chin up. We'll find him. There's a camera network that might have caught where they took him. Let's hurry and access that network, shall we? I've gone over the captured footage. I was able to follow Mr. Lopez down to the cellar, but then I ran out of cameras. Not a problem you often have in London. Guess that's where we start, huh?
Just listen. What? What's going on, mate? Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Bloody hell, man. You, you won't believe what I'm seeing. <laughs> Fuck! What? They're, they're burning corpses. Human bodies. This place was supposed to be closed. A perfect spot for zoo, man. Fuck! There's crates of innards here. What the bloody fuck? What the fuck did I take? Just chill. You're paranoid. Yo, one of them's looking over. Wait. Where are you? Who's looking over? The old incinerator, man. Oh, oh this is heavy. Yo, mate. Hey. Are you there? My oh my, Deadbolt Trump's technology. The door is sealed, but this rubbish chute might do. It either leads to the cellar or your grisly death. Or both, I suppose. Brill. you we need to talk thanks for the distraction gave me the second I needed to take care of this filth oh, are you okay he was about to kill you. You stopped him just in time. He was. I'm fine. I just need a second to catch my breath and find my files. Wait. I think I know you. You're Caitlin Lau, the police inspector, right? I saw your video logs. So you really went after Mary Kelly on your own? I was so brave. It wasn't always on my own. Who the hell are... You're dead sick, aren't you? You tracked me to the slaughterhouse. Not really. Our friend disappeared from the EPC. We followed his trail here. All those missing people. I thought they were going home. Disgusting. Then I'm sorry. I don't think there's much hope for finding him alive. The Kellys have got a sick little operation going. A kind of human organ black market. I've been investigating them for months. And they got my fucking files. God, I feel like shit. Hey, you should rest. Look, we'll send someone to escort you somewhere safe, all right? I'll go find Angel and I'll look for your files. You seem to really care about them. Everything I've gathered on Mary Kelly. Almost enough to take her down. So we should work together, right? I mean, we're all going after Mary Kelly. We'll have a better shot if we join forces. All right, an operative is on their way to escort Inspector Lau. So let's find Angel and Inspector Lau's files. I'll wait for your guy in here. And thanks for your help. There's no doubt about it. This whole operation is meant to harvest organs. And Kelly's chopping off the parts they want and burning the leftovers. Yeah, I don't think Mary Kelly is waiting for the donors to die. She doesn't strike me as the patient type. God, what has been done to them? Can you do a facial reconstruction, Bagley? I have a bad feeling about this. Take a picture and I can run key details of various databases.
Unfortunately, I must confirm that this is indeed Angel Lopez. Shit. Angel. He knew the risks. I did too, but... Never thought DedSec would get caught up in this. Mary Kelly is preying on London's most vulnerable. She's a fucking monster. Taking her out needs to be a dead sec priority. Now we need to find Caitlin Lau's case files on Mary Kelly and see if my conjecture may be correct. Could Mary Kelly be in zero day? You got the files. The inspector will be impressed. Now get out of here before someone decides to turn you into minced meat. Chop chop. Well, obviously. Hello. Don't mind me. Not again. Dead sec. Caitlin Lau here. I uh, wanted to thank you. I'd be nothing but an anatomy lesson by now, or a pile of ashes. You'll be happy to know that Inspector Lau has been escorted to a nearby refuge and is getting her wounds treated. I'll be fine. Still a little flighty from whatever they gave me. And frankly, a little stunned that we've joined forces. Yeah, I didn't think Dead Set would end up working with a cop. Quite a team up. But Mary Kelly needs to be stopped. Exactly. You have an organization, I have information, and some backing from powerful people. Pool our resources, and we might just take her down. Mary Kelly's no petty criminal. Send out a party invite bags. We need the team to go through these files and come up with a plan. I'll sync with Inspector Lau and prepare a briefing. I've heard from Inspector Lau. We're ready for the briefing. <laughs> 